Hey, how's it going, world, and my fellow tech freaks out there everywhere? I'm Eric Ferris, your host, here today on Tech of Tomorrow. That's right, our YouTube channel. Hopefully, you guys know where you're at. Today, we're going to be doing unboxing from something from the folks over at Biostar. This is their new TA970XE motherboard based for the AMD platform. Now, this motherboard is coming to the market at about $89. It supports all of the latest FX processors from AMD, the 8150, 8120, all those bad boys. Doesn't support any of the FX processors, being the APUs, but this is a pretty good board. Focus points are, it supports all the new processors, it'll support Crossfire, no SLI, but it's $89. So that means you can go out, get one of those AMD processors for about $129, and for $200, you've got yourself a really solid setup. That said, let's jump in and see what comes inside the box of this new product from Biostar. <laughs> So hey folks, I'm gonna do this differently. Here's the box today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back of the motherboard. You can see that it says T overclocker. A lot of people don't know about Biostar. They think that all they make is low end products. I'm actually going to be working with them this year. I will actually have uh, my own motherboard with these folks. That's right, you guys will see the dock overclock motherboard from Biostar. We wanna make sure you guys know there's different products from Biostar. Biostar has a high-end product line, then they have their entry-level product line. The T-Series is their overclocking line. So now that you guys have seen the box, let's flip the top. Here's the contents right here. So today we're gonna to do something interesting. It's going to be throw the shit at the cameraman. Oh, so no. here we go. Here's the Biostar. This is the CD at the cameraman. I even hit his ass. Next we have up the manual, the TA970XE. Next part. Once again, the cameraman, maybe you can hear it ricocheting off of him. We have the rear IO, pretty simple rear IO. It does say what's on it, but it's not very color coded. Once again, oh, I missed the cameraman that time. Motherfuckers learning the Dodge. That's right. Last but not least, we have, looks like one, two, three, four of the SATA cables. These are the new SATA 3 cables. Last but not least, we're gonna be chucking these at the cameraman. Oh, almost got him right in the eye that time. I'm having fun here. So that was basically the content. You'd see that as the bundles page at motherboards.org. Little sound effect as I check the box over that way. Thought I'd spare the cameraman that one. But hey, he is learning to duck. All right, so let's move on now. Now we're gonna get rid of the box. Lots of banging, smacking. Anti-static bag, they all come in that. And let's pop the motherboard out now. So let's check it out. Let me get it out here and lay it out here. Cameraman, can you refocus down here onto the motherboard? So now let's take a look at the motherboard itself. We can see we got the AM3 zip socket right here. This will support, like I said before, all of the latest CPUs that are by AMD. 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. We have a single Power fan connector up here at the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get the camera to angle on there so you guys can see that. Now, even though they don't talk a lot about it, they do use pretty good quality components. You can see that everything's covered. All the MOSFETs and everything are being cooled by these two coolers right here. They're both passive. They have no active cooling on them whatsoever. We have another one of those down here. Right here, we have the 24-pin power connector. We have the additional power up here, the 4-pin, over on this corner right here. We'll move down the board, start off with the PCI. We have one, two of the PCI 1X lanes. Then we have one, two of the PCI E lanes. Now, these run in 16 and four. They do not run in eight and eight, but you can use Crossfire in it. We also have two standard PCI slots down here in the bottom. We have 7.1 HD audio, gigabyte LAN. We can see all that's right here on the motherboard. As far as SATA, SATA 6 gigabit all the way around. You can see we have one, two connectors right here. We have our reset and start switch right here. You can see those as well, along with another fan header right here. Then we have one, two, three additional of the USB headers. Flip it around, show you guys right here. This is where all the case wiring comes into your case and hooks up to your motherboard, all your start and all that good stuff. Flip it around, let's take a look at the rear I.O. Rear I.O is pretty good and fleshed out. We have two, four, six of the standard USB ports. We have two of the USB 3.0 ports. For your audio, we have both coaxial and SPDIF. 
We also have a standard keyboard port. So if you got PS2 stuff and you got old school stuff, you'll have that connection as well. We have external eSATA. Then we also have the RJ45 LAN and then all of our normal analog audio there. So pretty fleshed out rear I.O. And that's pretty much it, folks. So I'm Elric here at Tech of Tomorrow, bringing you the Tech of Tomorrow today. See you folks later. This was the unboxing of Biostar's latest T-Series motherboard, the TA970XE. See you folks for the full review here on Tech of Tomorrow.